Hi guys, Dan Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to everyone. I am wishing everyone a happy and healthy. I hope um, 2024 brings nothing but happy and wonderful memories and journeys and all that good stuff. So I just want to say thank you to all of my uh, viewers, followers who join me along this crafty ride and, you know, stick around um, through and through. So um, I've been so busy in life and I just have not been able to sit down. Um, it's always around this time. The holidays, I had family come in and um, it's just been insane bonkers. But um, I did do a little crafting and I'm really excited to show you some of the new releases for Valentine's Day for KS Craft. And there's so much good stuff and Valentine's Day is probably one of my most favorite crafty holidays so i did a little crafting and i just want to show you what i created so i'm doing the v-day flats now if you haven't seen these they've come in pretty much like all of the seasons and um this one had a lot of great sentiments that i really love i cut some of them out um just so I could have them ready. Like there's Valentine, there's XOXO. I cut it out in foam. Um, this 25 cents, this kisses. I used some of the other sentiments um, just in my projects, but those are some great little added benefits of buying this flag. Um, and I created three different versions, but I wanted to make them on a little popsicle thing. Um, isn't this adorable? So I did a pink, a baby blue, and a um, purple version. So this is my little blue one. I added pom-poms on the top, and I put it on little cake pops. Just did a little layering. This moat is part of the new um, layered sentiments. Of course, you can't go wrong with sentiments. I love it. I love doing the little three layers because I love that little peekaboo. And it makes it really sturdy like you can hear it and this is my purple one again with the three layers I just did a little like leafy green and then um, this is part of the this set it says be mine and then just have this little puffer heart right smack dab in the middle I think it's really cute and then here I just did a little um, cupcake liner can't even see it because I kind of um, I stuck a heart from one of the pieces add a little pom-pom little hearts little cutie i'm gonna stick these in little you know projects or um packages i think they're so adorable and um here's a new this is the the new bag topper so cute where is it sorry i have a lot of dyes here and I can't find it for some strange reason, but it says sweet stuff and it is simply adorable. I puffed it up on some pink foam. I love this pink foam. And then I kept the top one flat just because I wanted the sentiment, but I love this. So cute. I use this really pretty like rose paper and I'm going to make a couple more of these just to kind of add to baggies. And there was... A lot of shakers um, in this release. I'm going to show you this cutie one that I love. Oh, here's the sweet stuff. It's really simple. Got the little layers. But, um, sorry, you guys. I wanted to show you the heart. Oh, here it is. Embroidery little hoop. So you can use this. Um, I don't know why my maybe my machine I need a new plate or something but I had a little trouble but this is so cute it has all of the little pieces and here are the two versions I made um, this is the first one so cute I used some really old paper that I had and um, I layered it on top of this little puffy kind of heart it's a it's probably a, a what do you call that patch or anyways and then I just did a little layering I used the scissors that was also included in the set 
so cute. I absolutely love this and layered it up really sturdy. And then I made a shaker version. Um, I embossed a 110 pound cardstock and you can kind of see that back here. It's like a rose design. And then I did a little layering and then this is one of the new stickers that I got, um, vintage-y looking, but I love the mix. I think this season I'm obsessed with adding blue and purple into my Valentine's Day mix. I think like that's my thing this year. So yeah, I'm just making an announcement. <laughs> if you see any more embellishments with those specific colors. So we got a new set of banners um, and I cut all of them out. I wasn't able to use them, but I just wanted to show you for the sake of um, examples and comes with five sentiments it's really simple too because you get the layering piece and then like the top banner part um, to cut out the sentiments and it's really cute and they have these little um, added embellishment things that you can add to this so you got XOXO love Cupid sweet kisses so a lot of like a adorable little sentiments that decorate your heart's desire um, we also got a really cute and interesting looking bow set this, with this drop. Okay, so this is the biggest one. Then this is the next one. And I didn't have a flat bow like this and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So these are absolutely adorable. One, one went flying. And then I added coinciding little heart jemmies because we are on Valentine's Day. So I love how this looks. I think they're adorable. They're really cute and simple. Again, um, I wanted to keep a little um, colorful moment. And then, oh, another set of shakers that we got were these adorable. I'm going to show you these. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Little perfume bottles. Oh my god, these are so cute. And you do get words in this. There's like a love potion in here. But I wanted to make these adorable little dainty numbers. I cut out a piece of felt and then layered on top um, a piece of vellum. Because I just love that look of vellum. And then added a little jemmy. Again, with the colors, I'm making an announcement. I'm adding little bits of pur um, purple and blue in my mixes and these are my little love potions i love the shakers that came out in this one um these are the next ones these are the little bears i made a little girl and a boy and um i cut out the blue and then the pink and then i went around with the the belly part um where the shaker bits lie which are full of little clay hearts um, I did it when diamond dots and then I actually used diamond dots for the eyes because the eyes were little itty bitty numbers and I just wanted to glue it on so and they're really simple and easy to make so so easy to make and look how sweet they are these adorable little bears Ugh, they're adorable anyways next up uh, I'm just gonna move these we had, oh, these were also shakers. I feel like I had another one. Um, just a little bit all over the place. Okay. These were also um, little dangly hearts. Shakers that came out part of the release. I love this big one. And this is the small one. I added just little diamond dots in it because I felt like the sequins wouldn't move around all too much but a little adorable and then oh these were the little kitties oh my goodness they're so cute I'm gonna make everything girl and boy like him and hers and I just want to see if I wanted to add it a little flat bow to the mister <gasps> look how cute that is oh my god I think I'm gonna make a little card for my husband <gasps> look little mister coming in your little bow tie I love it. So cute. Um, also the cherries. Oh my God. So there are 
let me see i think there are three different sizes of the cherries and these are so cute i actually wish i was doing like a sweet theme there's a whole bunch of pieces in here so you get a lot of different sizes um but i love the layering on this the dyes the design it's just really super cute and um I love the little shadow of this so you don't have the dainty little stems dangling everywhere. This is such a cute little die set. I love it. And then I just want to show you some of the other sentiments. Um, I think I've used most of them. But there's February. This is Girl Gang. And then Cute. So I'm going to put that there. Then let's see. Oh, you guys, we've got the little jelly tote, and I made mine um, out of plain cardstock, uh, well, 110, and um, I decorated it. I actually had the lips, but I was looking at it, I was like, oh, it's kind of plain. I want to include something else. So I added a little bow, little hearts, little felt roses, a scallop heart, and I think, I believe this is from KS Craft as well, this oldie but goodie. And it is such a good size. You can fit a lot in here. Like if you wanted to add all the little mini albums, you could. And she did come out with two new sets. This is the um, XO one. And I love this one. It's so cute. I cut it out of this really soft, um, I believe this authentic paper. And I just layered it up. I'm gonna add some of these embellishments inside, but I wanted to show everything separately. And I, I popped this forever on foam and then cut it out of this glitter red paper so it sticks out. Really cute. I love the little mini albums. And yeah, it's I made mine sturdy because I had it with 110 pound cardstock. And then this is the, the um, Shaker Lock mini album. And again, I'm just getting ready to like kind of make it put all these embellishments inside. Um, I'm using what is this with love from uh, Frank Garcia oh man this paper is so pretty and it was such a gorgeous little um, paper and I loved how this little shaker I'm gonna decorate it a little bit more but I added a little jemmy heart inside the plastic I don't know how that sequence got away but it did but yeah she's living her best life up there <laughs> and then um, yeah again with the pinks the blues and then i just added this little embellishment this is one of the carriages um the carriage shakers really small size and it's giving cinderella you guys cinderella and her beautiful pink carriage uh, i haven't filled it up yet i just wanted to show the um the individual pieces as I kind of work through it. And then last but not least, we have this adorable, this adorable little box. I'm sorry, I got high pitch there. Um, I made it with that With Love paper. I'm loving that collection right now, probably because I didn't get to play with it. And I did um, make mine flat. It's supposed to be a little bit curved, but I don't know, maybe I think I folded it incorrectly and I was watching uh, Hannah's tutorial but I just made it flat. I just gave it a little bit of a lip. And I don't mind it like this. I added a little, um, this is what I call like the bootleg seam binding that I got from Timu in this really pretty red color. And then here is like just the little holding spot for this flap. Just pull it right up. And the box is such a great size. You can fill a lot in here. And I love this little heart and I did add a little um I added a little trail of what do you call that diamond dots and the little embellishing on top out of these two little hearts this is to cover the holes from this piece but it still worked out I thought it was really cute and Cupid is on his way to send some love to the pen pal and that is it you guys I know I've been a little delinquent and I'm sorry I'm catching up on life but I hope you enjoyed my creations and found inspiration on the newest KS Crafts release 
um, I will be better and take some pictures and hopefully um, post again. Um, a girl is just trying to survive and not drown. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.